Okay, we're going to look at some texturing now. We're going to get into some of the details on our character. What we're looking at here is the UV view tab. And I just wanted to point out that this character um, does, has, does have UV tiles laid out. So the power of that is instead of having just a zero to one space layout of the entire character in that space and us working with one resolution or, or, or that is one map within that UV space, we are now able to work with essentially six different maps so we can pack a lot of resolution in there um, a lot more efficient a lot more efficiently really so what we can do is rather than painting one gi giant large map a 4k or an 8k or something like that we can up that resolution and work with say six 2k maps and that's what we're gonna do here so that we can get a bunch of different uh, uh, details within packed in within that space there and the way this works, um, I'm just I'm displaying this guy at the low base level so that I could just show the UV tile layout at the uh, the base level. Just step right back up to level five, and just to show you what I why I went down, uh, you can see the the subdivision carries right up with the UV view there as well. So I was just showing the uh, tiled view uh, down at the base. And what we want to do with this guy is start to paint some textures on him um, to bring in some details. And the reason why I'm going in this direction is actually twofold here. One is I'm working with about 2.6 million polys on this character throughout the tutorial. Um, it depends on what kind of hardware configurations everyone has that's running through the, the series here. But um, to be fair to, to everyone here, the hardware I'm running, I, I've taken this guy up to into the 43, 44 million poly range. Um, and that really is actually unnecessary. We don't need to do that. For the resolution that we're at here, 2.6 million polys, that gives us the, the amount of um, data that we need. Um, so it's important to note that a lot of the detailing can be carried over um, via texture maps. Um, at the end of the day, that's what we're doing here is producing texture maps if we want to take this guy out and utilize that in another package, Max, Maya, Soft, etc., other packages. Um, so we're going to take a look at detailing this guy in a couple of different ways. The first thing we're going to do is look at just a technique. I'm not going to go too deep into it. We're just going to look at how we can use a sculpt paint uh, technique where we are painting and sculpting the details at the same time. Uh, just by swapping with hotkeys. But the real um, focus is going to be on jumping into some texture painting and doing some bump mapping here by hand and with stencils and some different techniques there as well. So let's take a look at some sculpting here um, and painting. What we're going to do is I'll just work on this rock here. Just to illustrate a point, I'm going to bring down a whole new sculpt layer. And the way I'm going to work here, I've pointed this out before in the previous videos, that Whatever tray um, you are in of tools, the number keys along the top will grab those tools. They are the hotkeys for that. So for example, in here, uh, one will be the sculpt, two the smooth, three the grab, four the pinch, etc. And then in the paint tool, same thing. One the paintbrush, two the projection. And that's, uh, that's great for that tray. But what I want to do is swap between the sculpt and the projection brush here. So what I typically will do is underneath the windows there, um, the hotkeys, I have mine set to Maya hotkeys again. I've pointed this out before, you can change this to whatever uh, presets you want. You can customize all these keys in here, and that's what we're going to do. I um, am mapping my projection uh, brush here, down underneath the tools, projection, to the tilde key. So to the left of the number one key, the little tilde key, use whatever you want. I find that's really easy. It's right beside one for my sculpt there as well. And I'm just applying that, so that's applied. We can close that window up. So just to test what we're doing here, uh, let's pick a stencil that we want to work with. And now the idea that we're working with here, this might be a nice one here. This is a default uh, rock texture in here. Uh, I'm just going to turn off tiling. I have tiles turned on. We'll get into that a little bit. Um, so we'll bring this guy up in here. I'm going to focus in on this map. This will do here for now. Now, the idea is that we want to sculpt and paint uh, this detail at the same time. So I'm in my sculpt tool right now. Let's check the fall off here. I'm going to use this base uh, kind of default, kind of half smooth fall off for that. We're definitely going to want to adjust the strength. It's at default 15 for now. That might be fine. We'll see once we start sculpting. And in our paint here, 
Um, I'm going to create a whole new paint layer. We're going to work with a diffuse here at 2K, that's fine. And we'll just wait for that layer to come in. Here we go. And just to test this out, my sculpt tool I'm working with is number one. And then if I hit the tilde key, we are now in the projection brush there. You can see properties projection. And back to number one, I'm in the sculpt tool. And the reason why that's working, I'm in the sculpt tool tray here. So I'm able to uh, swap between what I've mapped uh, in the paint tool tray there. So we'll stay in the sculpt tools and we'll just keep swapping back and forth to the projection tool there. So back on the sculpt tool here, uh, what we can start to do is rub this detail in. So this is a little bit too much, a uh, little bit too harsh on there. So I'm going to adjust the overall strength and maybe even bring up the resolution on that a bit. So I'm just going to use my M hotkey, bring that down a little bit. We just want some subtle detail in there. Um, and if we start to paint that, you'll see that we're projecting that uh, color image directly through there. So we are getting the RGB value of that image through there. And back to the sculpt tool, we can rub in some of that detail into there so that we're actually bringing over some of the detail as we paint in there. And that, again, is probably a little bit harsh, but we can quickly adjust the opacity of my sculpt layer there. We'll bring that down about halfway and hit the Q key just to make that uh, disappear for a moment. And we can see what we're starting to get in there. And if we put our uh, ambient occlusion on there, we can start to see some of the, the overall effect with that. So that's one um, option here with putting some detail on the rocks uh, here so that you can work with some of the painting detail as well as some of the sculpting detail. And then of course you can go by hand and smoothen or kind of clean this up a bit or even carve in further uh, sculpt or painting details. So for, for now we're not going to dive too deep into that. I'm going to get rid of this uh, paint layer on here and turn off that sculpt layer because we're going to focus more on painting up some texture maps here using some bump maps. So before we dive into that as well, uh, let me just kill that stencil there so we get rid of that little help bubble. Um, I should point out, we looked at the UV tiles. The hotkeys to display these UV tiles, or for that matter, to hide the UV tiles there as well, are your up and down arrow keys. So if I focus over a piece of this geometry and I hit the up arrow, I'm going to get this color-coded um, selection here. And that's telling me that it's hidden, those uh, that U set of UV tiles. That's on the same tile there. I go over the legs there. This leg's on one. This leg's on one is here as well here. Um, down around the back, I've got the tree on its own tile and his back on his own tile. And, of course, the front is on its own tile. So what's happening here? Uh, to save memory for performance uh, um, reasons here, I can hide away all those tiles and only access this tile here. So it's very good for your video memory uh, while you're working. Um, and if I want to turn them all off at once, I'll get this warning bubble here, but I can hit my control and uh, up arrow. It's telling me if I display all these texture tiles, it may consume too much of my video memory. So I may get uh, a bit of an issue with my performance. I'm going to hit yes. We're not going too crazy on what we're painting here um, because I'm just going to work with some bump mapping across this surface here.